Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Chance and Probability Part 4. In this video we will look at events which may or may not have any effect on other particular events. So we'll start off by looking at the situation where the first event influences the second event. Here we go. Write down the two events, then answer true or false. So let's look at this statement, statement one. It is now raining heavily with thunder and lightning. There are dark clouds in the sky. So the first event, it's raining, there's thunder, there's lightning. The second event, there are dark clouds. The answer is true because the fact that it's raining there is thunder and there is lightning has an influence on the second event there will be dark clouds in other words it can't be a sunny day number two last month was May and this month is June the first event May was last month the second event June was this month. The answer? True. Because if last month was May, this month has to be June because it directly follows after May. Number three. I jumped in the water fully clothed. I became wet. First event, I jump in the water. Second event, I became wet. And that is true. And you can see if you've got your clothes on and you jump in the water, you will become wet. So there are three examples where the first event has an influence on the second event. Now, some events have no effect on other events. In other words, if you have a first event, it does not influence the second event. Let's look at some examples. So the following examples show two events where the first event has absolutely no influence on the second event. The first event, you toss a coin and a head came up. So that's event one. The second event, you toss another coin. Here is the conclusion. A head showing up on the first toss does not help us to predict what will happen on the second toss. In other words, tossing a head has no influence on what will happen when you toss another coin. Second example, the first event is you roll two dice and the sum was seven. For the second event, you roll two dice again. The conclusion. A sum of seven on the first roll does not help us to predict what will happen on the second roll. So the first roll has no influence on the second roll. The third example, the first event, a red car entered the car park. The second event, another car entered. The conclusion, even though the first car was red, we have no idea about the colour of the second car. Now, for each of the following events, circle the correct choice. Now, for the first example, we have event one. A blue car entered the car park. Event two, a second car entered the car park. Now, here are our choices. The second car is blue. The second car is not necessarily blue. So what answer do you think it is? And if you pick this one, you are correct. Just because the first car was blue, it does not mean that the second car has to be blue. Next example, event one. Today is Monday. Event two next day I go to the beach. Here is our first choice. The next day is unknown. 
the next day is Tuesday. So what answer do you think it is? And if you circled that, you would be correct. Because Tuesday comes after Monday. Here's another example. One red and one blue marble are in a box. Here they are. I pick a red marble at random and do not replace it. In other words, I close my eyes, I put my hand in the box, and I pick a red marble and I keep it. I don't put it back. Event 2, I pick the remaining marble from the box. Now we have three choices. The remaining marble is blue. The remaining marble is red. We do not know the colour of the remaining marble. Now what do you think is the answer? And I'm sure you would have circled this one and you are correct. So the purpose of this video was to highlight that if one event occurs it may or may not have an influence on the second event. It depends on the circumstances. It depends on the nature of the first event.